Hi YouTube, today I'll be talking about some radio control transmitter hacks. When you buy a ready-to-run RC car, they typically come with a garbage radio, and the first thing you want to do is to junk that and switch it for a better radio that gives you some more programming options. Uh, now this one is a module-based radio. Uh, it can send different radio protocols based on what you have plugged into the module slot there. Now what I found out about the LOC radio, this is the transmitter that came with the 124th scale micro short course truck, uh, the brushless version. At its heart, this one is actually a PPM based module radio. So there is the main board in there which handles all the inputs and sends a PPM signal to a daughter board which then um, handles all the radio communications. So I was wondering if we could rip that daughter board out and turn that into a module, which I have here. That, that's the daughter board down there. It takes 3.3 volts, although the bigger radios usually send out um, 10 to 12 volts. Uh, so I had to add a little buck circuit in there to drop the input voltage down to 3.3 volts. Now unfortunately I couldn't get this working. But I did get the completely pointless um, backwards mod done. So what I've done here is to modify the stock radio here to accept modules. Now, we've got a module for Kyosho Mini-Z and a normal Spectrum module. Now these modules, they expect um, about 10 to 12 volts coming from the transmitter when you plug them in. Now this thing in its stock form only gives 3.3 volts but we can tap 4.8 volts from the battery and then boost it up. I've, had, I've used a circuit here to give it a, about 11 volts. So if we take the Mini-Z module and plug that in We've got a Mini-Z all-wheel drive here. We're good. We can get totally pointless and put in a Spectrum DSM-1 module. This radio originally was Spectrum to begin with. And I've got a Tamiya MO5 in the back running Spectrum also. So there you have it. Basically the only thing this would be useful for is to, if you manage to get your hands on one of these ASF modules for a, a low price, and you can make a Mini-Z transmitter out of these things which are people are giving away for free. Although uh, it's not such a good solution. It gives you even fewer options than the basic Kyosho KT-18 transmitter, that one has, at least has digital trims and uh, the training mode, and this one, well, analog trims, and that's pretty much it. Well, 